Welcome to the lecture series on real analysis. In the previous videos, we have seen several examples of a neighborhood in real line and few on real plane as well. As a continuation to the previous lectures, in this lecture also, we are going to find out a neighborhood of a point in a real plane. Here, let us directly get into this problem. In this problem, we are going to find out a neighborhood of a single point with two different radius when the metric is defined in two different ways. Let us get into the problem. Here, we are asked to find out the neighborhood of this point in R2 with two different radius that is 0 0.25 and 2 when the metric is defined in these two different forms. Okay. Here, absolute of x minus y denotes summation items from 1 to 2 xi minus yi to the square to the whole power 1 upon 2. This is what the absolute of x minus y means. Okay. Now, let us get into this case. Here, when the radius is 0 0.25, what is going to be the neighborhood? Let us see that. Here, neighborhood of 1 comma 1 with radius 0 0.25 is going to co collect the order pairs in R2 such that this satisfies this condition that is minimum of 1 comma this thing here what is x1 x1 is going to be 1 we may write 1 minus y1 or y1 minus 1 so y1 minus 1 whole square plus y2 minus 1 whole square under root of this okay this entire thing has to be less than 0 0.25 we have to collect all these points now let us see here with this the minimum of these two quantities and this minimum of these two quantities has to be less than 0 0.25 out of which one is a fixed constant so it is not less than 0 0.25 therefore the minimum quantity must be this therefore this neighborhood is consisting the points in R2 such that it is absolute of y1 sorry under root y1 minus y2 sorry y1 minus 1 whole square y2 minus 1 whole square and this quantity is less than 0 0.25 okay as of now simply by looking at it we can leave as such but when you try to understand what this actually means try to plot that in a graph and see what is this okay uh, the center is 1 comma 1 you can see this this is an equation of circle with radius 0 0.25 and center at 1 comma 1 so find the point 1 comma 1 fix the radius 0 0.25 okay identify the circle the interior of the circle is going to be your required neighborhood okay for the same case what happens when the radius is Okay, in the same diagram, let us try to draw both the things. Uh, it is here, we will have to see the minimum of 1 with this quantity has to be less than 2. Okay, what is going to happen now? Can you guess? The minimum of these two quantities has to be less than 2 right so uh, suppose the minimum let me take the minimum quantity to be equal to d since the d is the minimum of these two things what you will have is the sub okay let me give you the general idea minimum of a comma b is c i don't know what is this minimum that is why i am writing minimum of a comma b is c in this case this a will have to be what the minimum should be c therefore it will satisfy this condition or this condition okay. here the minimum of these two things has to be less than 2 okay if this quantity is less than 1 this will be the minimum one if the quantity is becoming bigger than or equals 1, this becomes the minimum. 
So whatever may be the point that you give for this y1 and v2, that is whatever may be the point that you take in a R2, this condition will be satisfied. So what happens now? Here what we are getting is n2 of 1 comma 1 is going to be a entire R2. Okay. Now for the second when you try to plot that in a graph you are going to get the entire R2. Okay. Now let us see the next cases. That is when the metric the same thing but when the metric is defined in different format. Okay. Here it is given that what? We need to find out the neighborhood of 1 comma 1 with the radius 0 0.25 and it is going to collect these points the order pairs in R2 satisfying this condition. This is what? This is y1 minus 1 whole square plus y2 minus 1 whole square under root upon 1 plus the same quantity that is y1 minus 1 the whole square plus y2 minus 1 the whole square and this has to be less than 0 0.25 as of now consider only this that is under root y1 minus 1 the whole square y2 minus 1 whole square upon what 1 plus under root this quantity and this is less than 0 0.25 we need to solve this inequality when you take this to this side what you are going to get you are going to get under root of this quantity is less than 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 times of under root of y1 minus 1 the whole square plus y2 minus 1 the whole square when you take this to this side you will have 0 0.75 times of under root y1 minus 1 whole square plus y2 minus 1 whole square it is less than 0 0.25 and this gives you y1 minus 1 whole square plus y2 minus 1 whole square which is less than 1 upon 3. So when you try to plot this in a graph, it is the circle with center 1 comma 1 and radius 1 by 3. So this is what you are going to get. Only the interior of the circle is going to be your neighborhood. Now, for the same thing, when you change your radius to 2, what are we going to get? Okay. This will be 2. Here we will have 2, here we will have 2. Okay. This is going to be minus is less than 2. So this is what we will have. Okay. Generally uh, in the previous case or in the previous cases when we have like this we will just come to a conclusion that it is the circle equation of a circle. But here we cannot come to the conclusion that it is a circle because we have a minus sign here. When we have minus when both the signs are equal it is no bother that we can square on both sides but when you have one among the quantity is negative we cannot make the square for example uh, just think for a moment suppose you have minus 5 which is less than minus 2 but when you square on both sides you will have 25 4 but it is 25 is not less than 4 right even minus 5 is also less than 2 but 25 is not less than 4 so when you have things in minus you cannot do so but when you have 2 less than 3 and you make a square you have this ok so when you have both the things in positive you can square the inequalities whereas here you have minus remember this part is a non-negative quantity so under root is going to give you a non-negative quantity and when you negate it you become this becomes a non-positive quantity. So it is not possible to square these two things. Okay. 
Now we will have to identify what are all the points in R2 to satisfy this condition. If you closely look at it, whatever may be the value that you give here, it will be to the maximum. It, okay, as of now, forget about this minus, just concentrate here. Here, whatever may be the value that you give, you will have this part, this entire part to be non negative. And when you negate it, it is going to be negative or zero. All the negative quantities and zero is less than two, which means we don't have any bother. That is, whatever may be the point that you substitute, this inequality will be satisfied. In this case, what is going to happen? Your neighborhood, that is, n2 of 1 comma 1 is going to be your entire R2. So the entire plane is going to be a neighborhood in this case. Okay, in the previous case as well as in this case, uh, when we choose the neighborhood, uh, sorry, the radius to be 2, we get the entire plane to be a neighborhood of that point with that radius. Now, we will have to think and identify what are all the points that gives the entire plane as the neighborhood. Okay. Here, the point is the secondary thing. The radius plays a very important role. Yes. In the, pre in the first metric, we have we are taking the minimum of 1 comma absolute of x minus 1. Which means, if you choose the radius to be bigger than 1, you will have this to be the minimum possibility. So, all the points in the plane will satisfy that condition. Even here, if you have this to be 1, you will have this part is less than 1 times of this part. When you bring this to this side, you will have 0 less than 1. The involvement of y is not at all there. Therefore, whatever may be the given point, it is going to get satisfied. So, from 1 onwards, you will have the entire plane to be the neighborhood. So, if you choose a radius bigger than that, that also gives you the entire plane to be your neighborhood. Okay. Uh, in this lecture, we have seen a few more examples of a neighborhood in, in a real plane. Hope you have a good understanding of what neighborhood is. And thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries, you can post it in the comment box. That will be addressed within 24 hours of time. Thank you.